Hey, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Stealth Bang and today we are back with some Sonic Mania. Now today I'm going to go ahead and be starting this episode alongside Nier Automata. Haven't uploaded in a while, but if you are watching this in the future, don't worry about it. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Ah, it is so great to be playing this game. I have actually gone and actually beat this game. Just so that I can go ahead and have a good head start to the game. And so that you guys don't have to be bored with me trying to figure out what to do. But, in my opinion, I'm pretty good at Sonic games because, you know, I'm a master at it. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get started in Mania mode. And I pretty much cleared this game. Got all the emeralds, 34 lives, and it's pretty good. This is my little brother's playthrough. Still on Chemical Plant Zone. And this is my playthrough for Knuckles. Four emeralds at Flying Battery Zone. But anyways, let's get started. We're going to go Sonic and Tails for this one. I was just going to do Sonic, but I'd rather go ahead and save those for maybe either separate playthroughs if I'm up for it. But maybe they might be late live streams. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So let's do it. Woohoo. Oh man, I don't know. I just like to throw back to a lot of the Sonic 3 vibes in it. Just this uh, this uh, opening for the cutscene. We got uh, clapped by bass knuckles when we were Super Sonic. If you guys haven't actually checked out my Sonic 3 and Knuckles playthrough, I did upload it up until I got to Mushroom Hill Zone. So I will uh, leave a, look, a little card on the top. You can click the I right here to head to that playlist or the video part one itself. So I'll leave that to you guys. But yeah, honestly, I love this. I love this game. The, the references, the, the vibrant colors, and even the filter. I'm using the clear filter because I, I played Sonic 2 a lot when I was a kid. Oh, okay. I played Sonic 2 a lot when I was a kid, so the fact that they were able to go ahead and have uh, the filters for it, this game is pretty awesome. So, and they have this little scan lines. I know like some emulators uh, have those, uh, what are they called? They have those filters to emulate old TV systems that people used to have. If you guys remember the old composite TVs, I actually have my Toshiba one downstairs. I don't know if it's still working. It's in the basement somewhere. Is that Eggman? Yep. Okay. I hope I haven't passed the the giant gold ring because if I did, that would be very unfortunate. Ooh. Okay. I love the drop. Oh, there it is. Nice. Yeah, I love the drop dash in this game. It is amazing. It. I'm so glad Sega. In fact, no, Head Cannon went ahead and implemented that in this game. You don't lose any momentum when you go ahead and move, which is a pretty cool factor. Now with the special stages, they it's okay. I just really, I just wish they offered more of a challenge or some more difficulty to it. If they added like a difficulty mode, as far as let's say a hardcore mode, to pretty much put some more spikes in the area. The only challenge about uh, special stages is, how do I say it? The what is it called? What is it called? What is it called? What is it called? Yeah, the spikes, the spikes, the spikes. I don't, th I haven't seen any in this stage so far. But other than that, it isn't really that hard to catch up to them. Well, look at that, we're at Mach two. We're about to catch up. Watch, 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 watch this. <laughs> we didn't even have to go to Mach three. Oh man, it's not a god of chaos emerald. I mean, for now, right now, I'm saying they should have added a challenge to it. To it but watch when we get to like emerald number five, six, and seven. Then it'll start to be hard. But with repetition, it's pretty much easy. Let's go this way. I pretty much know know where to where a general idea of where some of the things are. So it isn't gonna be that hard to go ahead and pretty much make my way. Oh my god! Wow, nice. Lost all my emeralds. Wow, my emeralds rings. Come on, come on, come on! Oh my gosh! Wow. So we can still hit it if we have some invincible frames. Okay. There we go. That's the best part about the drop dash. You can pretty much get away from any area you're at. Nice. <sighs> that was pretty good. Sonic got through Act 1. So I'm probably not going to go ahead and do like separate stages as far as like parts go. Reason being in my Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles playthrough, I didn't go ahead and do that. I didn't. No, I, I did that in my Sonic uh, and Knuckles playthrough. But the problem is that each episode was about like 10 minutes long. So in that case, it wasn't that helpful. Or it just keeping it that long for episodes wasn't that great. Woo! 
Yeah, but the amount of references that we'll see in this game, I'll probably spot most of them out. You guys will probably, if you're a Sonic fan, you'll probably see the majority of them. So this way. And drop here. Ooh. Nice. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I can, let me see. Wait! Oh, are you serious? Okay. Alright, 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 alright. Man. In a sense, there was no point. And pretty much, you can pretty much speedrun this game. I don't remember seeing any giant gold rings in this stage. I think there probably was one I saw in someone else's playthrough. But, I didn't happen to see it in the I didn't see it in this level on my own, so I don't think there is one. The cool, oh my gosh, wow. Okay. The cool thing about... Oh my gosh, wow. <sighs> now, yeah, what I was, what was, what was going to say is that the cool thing about the checkpoints is that they go ahead and bring back the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles' special stage gameplay. I, I don't know. See, they added so much of it where you, if you go ahead and complete it, you get medallions for it. But the thing, the reason why I'm not a big, I'm not a huge fan of it is because there isn't really a huge reward for it. Sure, you get the medallions, and I know that they unlock some parts. They unlock uh, some things, but I don't know what the end goal is if you get all gold medallions. But the reason why I'm not even a big fan of it is because of that, and there really isn't a big reward. I remember Sonic 3 and Knuckles, or Sonic 3, depending on which one you played, or Sonic and Knuckles. Um, you unlock an emerald. You get the emerald. But the only problem with this game is that is you get a gold medallion, and it's not something that it's a long-term kind of reward, not a short-term. Uh, I don't know. I guess you can say getting the chaos emeralds if this was the same special stage that you use. Getting the emeralds would be a long-term and a short-term thing kind of thing. Nice. We got all of it, and we're pretty much good. I don't know if we'll. Yeah, we'll get another gold one. Okay. Because I played this stage, I, yeah, I played this bonus level and got a golden, me golden meda medallion. Oh. Let's grab you. Nice. Uh, we can pretty much, yeah, you know what? See, I want to say let's, let's speed run this game and explore. Uh, but at the same time, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Keep boss time. Can we actually attack M Eggman like this? Oh wow, no. Oh, I actually want to get behind Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I don't want to get behind him. Hold on, let me try something. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You know what I'm going to do? Oh, I don't know. It won't work. Okay, cool. All right, so hold on. I wanted to try this. Yeah, what I wanted to try out my first playthrough is that if Sonic Sprite Animation, if you can go ahead and hit it and then make him jump off, like while the Sprite Animation goes through, that would have been pretty funny. The Heavy Egg Robots. The pretty interesting thing about the Heavy Robots is that they don't, they don't have a mind of their own, but at the same time, the Phantom Ruby can give them self-awareness, which is the pretty cool thing, because they are machines. Let's go! Chemical plant zone. I don't know, like, when it comes to Sonic games, my friends ask me, hey, Kofi, you're, wow, okay. you're, you're pretty good at Sonic games, how come, how, 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 why is that the case? It's more like... When you know when you're a kid and you just keep playing the same game over and over again, and oh, I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> We're dead, no. But it's it's pretty much like you keep playing the same game over and over. So because it's the same style, you'll pretty much get used to it. Oh wow! Did you even got a checkpoint? Okay. Yeah, you pretty much get uh, used to the style itself. And nope, we're going this way. I can't believe we need a checkpoint. Okay. It's not too much of a huge concern. This is where... Oh, no. There we go. This is where we messed up at. It's not too much of a huge concern. Uh, whoa. Okay. 
Yeah, this is where we were last time. This is where I fumbled. Go. Uh, you know what? Let's head up here. I love those. I love the feeling of hitting those with the red springs. It's, it's, it's honestly amazing. Come on, come on, come on. You get that huge speed and momentum. I need you to go flying. And the worst part is if you go flying straight into spikes and lose everything. Okay. I don't know, as a kid, playing Sonic the Chemical Plant Zone, I would say the reason why it was my least favorite is... What? Please tell me I hit a checkpoint. Okay, good. What in the world? <laughs> That's not fair. Not, yeah, there we go. See, I was just about... Wow. That's insane. Alright, hold on. Oh, wow. Okay. Thought, okay. Yeah, I just decided not to wait for us. That's insane. Okay. Come on. Air. That is insane. Jump, jump. This is called him. This is called me being impatient. You see, that's the that's the thing with me and Sonic games. You know? I just want to move fast. Gotta go fast. Uh, Chemical Plant Zone as a kid wasn't uh, my favorite stage. I know some people liked it out of nostalgia, or mainly because it was just that one stage you just happen to remember out of the majority of the Sonic stages, but it was just because of this purple fluid over here, it was one of my least favorites, because I, I don't know, when you're a kid, you have like super baby motor skills, so <laughs> trying to do well on stages isn't that great. This mini boss is alright, it's, it's not that bad. Sure, it's new. It wasn't that like cool. It has a reference to uh, the Sonic 3 or uh, Metal Madness boss. Go, go, nice. See how easy that was. Nice. That was pretty good. I don't even know how long it'll take to beat this game. That is insane. That's the. The innocence, that's the scary part. <laughs> I was hoping to have like a lot of parts for this game, but it doesn't, I have this feeling that it doesn't seem like that'll be the case. Ooh. Yeah, I was hoping to have a lot of parts for this, for the game, but we're already on like chemical plant zone. I mean, sure, maybe I can go ahead and replay some stage. Actually, no! What am I talking about? Yeah, there could be a lot of... Wow. What am I talking about? There's a, there could be a lot of parts. Just pretty much do everybody else's. You know? I I don't know. Should I do... I, I was thinking of doing Sonic's playthrough separately as well, too. Um, there really isn't a problem with that, too. Because it's just only him. You don't have Tails, so... Um, I'll definitely do Sonic and... Uh, no, Tails and Knuckles' playthrough. There's a slightly different. I know Knuckles is definitely different. So, just based on hearing some of the OST in this game, which is honestly, in my opinion, amazing. like amazing. The remixes in the stages are pretty great. Another thing, another thing I was gonna mention. Uh, as far as the Phantom Ruby goes, because I know we did get trapped by the Phantom Ruby. No, the Phantom Ruby transported us to Green Hill Zone. But the weird thing is the way its features and properties. It's that it, it'll transport you somewhere, and then it can also send you back in time. At, at least that we're gonna be seeing in some of the parts. Uh... Oh wait, okay, never mind. Yeah, I was like, how do we make it back over there? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Nice. Okay, I didn't want to hit that, but. See, I, I, like I said, I'm not a big fan of this. The Blue Sphere stages, the ugh, the Blue Sphere stages, it's not that great in my opinion. Like, not no, not because you might, you guys might be. Oh wow, some of you guys might be thinking maybe it's because of uh, the medallion thing. No, the it, I like the nostalgia. You know? It's it's great. Um, the reason why I don't care for it is because of the reward, like I mentioned earlier, there really isn't 
that much going for it, so. Come on. Go! You see the momentum the drop dash gives you? Oh, yeah, let's head up there. I think there's a special stage up here. Yep, right up here. Alright, special stage number two. Let's do this. I don't know, sometimes like hit. Oh no! Are you serious? Wow, are we already gonna like. Okay, nice. Right, we need rings ASAP. Come on. We need rings ASAP. Look at that. We need some rings ASAP. That was insane. We could have literally lost the, like the whole state special stage right there. Because I happen to go ahead and just mess up right there. But let's go. Let's see if we can get to Mach 3 without getting hit. Nice. Right, and then we gotta make sharp turns over here. Now in this case, now in this part, we don't really need uh, to go ahead and grab the blue spears because as long as we have enough rings, which we do, we just have to go ahead straight for it. I thought they, there was a Mach 4 when I first played this. Then there really isn't, so. Almost there. Almost there. Nice. Cool. Yeah, if you guys are playing this for the first time and you are spoiling the game for yourself, please don't do it. But, little tip, as soon as you hit Mach 3, don't worry about the blue spheres. Worry about how many rings you have, and just worry about where the UFO is, just so you can at least go ahead and grab it. Grab it. Gotta go fast. Whoa! Okay. Nice. I wanted to hit the ring over there, but... Okay. Come on, come on. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. This this part of the game, when I, fir when I, when I first uh, saw it, it was nice. Like, I, 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 I got hit with nostalgia. I am so glad Sonic Team and uh, uh, Head Cannon. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh. Okay, that was great. Uh, let's move you here. This is a reference to Dr. Eggman's Mean Bean Machine, if you guys do not know. I used to play this game all the time on Sonic Mega Collection. Such a great game. Apparently in Japan it's called Pyo Pyo or something. I actually found that, found out, found out about that not too long ago. Because I thought it was just like a, a relative term, like Dr. Eggman's Mimi Machine, like a relative game that everybody just like related to. So supposedly it's supposed to be some Japanese game uh, adapted from this. I don't. I'm most likely thinking that you, they probably did it by hand. Meaning, maybe you had pebbles? That, that's the only thing you can really associate it with it, because these are just beans over here. Not actual... Uh, oh my gosh, Eggman is crazy. Uh, no! The worst part is that we can actually die if we're not careful in this. You, you can actually lose. I suppose, and from what I've heard from other people, like, people have actually lost, like, died on stream trying to play this. When I say die, I don't mean death. I'm talking about when they were playing, they actually died. Oh my gosh, we are not doing so hot. Come on. We need one more purple one. Oh, no, one more red one, actually. Red. One more blue should do it, too. Let's go yellow. Blue, 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 blue. See, I just want to drop it faster before Eggman does his. So at least if we're not, because look, the, the thing is with this game is that you have to go ahead and, this mini game is that you have to go ahead and create as many combos, I meaning you have to think, oh my gosh, nice, you have to go ahead and think ahead, in terms, yeah see, you have to go ahead and think ahead in terms of how fast you move, nice, okay good, how fast you move the beams, nice, Eggman's Pio Pio Machine, boomed, Nice. Let's do this. 
Studioopolis Zone Act 1. Let's go! Nice camera action. Now this stage, everybody was just like uh, hyped for when they saw it in the first trailer. I think it, it, I think, I thought it was pretty cool at first. The only disappointment is that it, it, it went by too fast in my opinion. Mainly probably because I was just, I, would, I didn't do too much exploring. That's not my kind of thing when I'm playing a Sonic game. Any 2D Sonic game, so. I'm more like, oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on guys. Wait, 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 there should be one more. Tails, don't kill him. I think we get an achievement if we get a picture taken by one of them. Never mind. Oh, nice. Da -da 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 -da. Whoa, 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 This way. I love the, the, the speed shoes theme. Normally, you have other games where they just pretty much speed up the soundtrack of the level you're playing. Which is alright, but it's kind of. Eh. This game. Does a great, very good job with that. Eggnog. I don't know where the. Oh yeah, here, here. Take a picture of me. Take a. Oh, take a picture of me. Take a picture of me. Come on, hold on, hold on. Take a picture of me. Take a picture of me. Come on. Wait, come on. I think I should be good, right? Right, die over here. Come on. Sega Sonic Popcorn. Yeah, I, I don't know. I read on the Steam page that there's supposed to be some achievement of, uh... Whoa! Oh my gosh. There's supposed to be some achievement of getting your picture taken in Studioopolis. And I assumed there was going to be, uh, one of those guys over there. Just in case. That was pro that, that wasn't that great. That wasn't great. Nice. Okay. Oh my gosh. Nice. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The music in this game is amazing. You gotta you wait for Act 2. Just wait, just wait for Act 2. And you will see what I mean. This way? Wait, 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 wait. Uh, okay, let's go this way. I know there's a special stage somewhere around here. Uh, is it here? No. See, I want to do more exploring. The more exploring you do, just the more opportunities you can. Whoa! I did not see that guy. Nice. They also have a lot of references to some of the enemies in the past Sonic games. That I noticed a lot. That I noticed. Uh. It's almost like a reskin of pre classic enemies. That guy I do remember from Metropolis Zone in Sonic 2. That guy. Like, it wasn't exactly him, but it, you could say it was a clone of him. Oh, ah, oh, darn it. Okay. Alright, maybe it's Act 2 then. The heavy robots. You know, the funny thing I noticed is that the gunner is the only one who never actually physically gets hit in the whole game, which is crazy. Every other uh, heavy gets attacked. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it made it. What what I was confused about what I mentioned earlier is that the heavy seem to have like look like they have their own conscience, or they're they're just self aware that hey, uh, I'm after Sonic and I gotta go be him. Uh, because the Heavy King himself made it look like he is in charge. But Eggman is controlling him. I don't know. It's just some part of the game that's just weird for me. Come on. Nice. And I believe it should be one more. Nice. Should be good. 
Nice. That makes act one. Hey. Ooh. Hey. Nice. Dun, 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 dun. That was pretty neat. That was pretty good. Here we go. Studiopolis Zone Act 2. Yeah, this stage is pretty cool. I, I like it. The music itself, especially when they uh, repeat the, si the Act 1 music. It's nice. Alright. Oh my gosh. Nice. He ruined my, uh, the gift I received from Act 1. Come on, man. You know what the sad thing is? I realized in the special stage, uh, Sonic's. It said Sonic speed was max Mach one. No, no, it was it was Mach one, two, and three. If he's moving at that speed, a lot of people like to go. Ooh, wow, a special stage, nice. I don't know if this is the one I was thinking about earlier. I think it is, but let's see. Yeah, but a lot of people like you see. Yo, speak. Yeah, speak of the special stage. A lot of people think, oh yeah, this is classic Sonic's top speed. I wouldn't really say that's his top speed. I have more reason, and the proof is that Sonic, you know, Knuckles and Tails also move at this speed. So I wouldn't say that's his ideal speed. More like speed to catch this thing. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, it's kind of weird. Some people are weird, so. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. 55 rings. Now let's worry about the blue spheres. Good. The worst feeling is when you go ahead and pretty much hit Mach 3 and then you run straight off the edge when you're going too fast. Alright, now we can go ahead and pretty much skip a beat. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Go, 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 go. Da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 nice. Wow, I didn't. Wow, maybe, <laughs> maybe it's because I'm doing so well in uh, my second playthrough or fourth playthrough? Not fourth playthrough. Yeah, I'll say second playthrough. Reason being because I'm gonna beat it. But yeah, uh, I'm doing pretty well. Oh yeah, this is the yeah that's the area I, I, yeah, I was gonna head. Yeah, this is the area I was gonna head to earlier. Let's go. Wait, did we? No. There we go. Okay. I was actually confused there for a sec. You know something crazy? I actually got stuck on my first playthrough when the game first came out. I got stuck on that. Uh, it was a crazy bug. I got I, I got stuck there for about two minutes on that little uh, red spring over there. And then I kept mashing the A button. Tails, maybe his AI was just saw me in place for a long time and decided to just give me a hand. And he, he was able to lift me up from there, so I I was almost close to restarting the whole stage, but I didn't have to. Shout out to Tails. Oh no, let's go here. Can we head up here? I don't think so. Oh. Oh yeah, we can. Nice. Hey! Is this the lottery? Oh, you know what was so cool about this? When I was a kid, they used to show those like lottery, the lottery balls. They like they showed up on screen like this number, that number, this number. It was awesome. Come on, come on, come on! No! <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what that. I I hear the sound sounds very familiar. The only thing I can think of is Sega Carnival from Sonic Heroes. It's the only thing that rem remotely sounds clear. Nice. Alright. And TV. Weather's forecast today is windy. We're gonna go over here. I don't know how we can damage Eggman here. I don't think we can. I tried. I tried. Oh, yeah, windy again. Oh, nice. Okay. There we go. All right. So we can damage him like that. So, but he has to come to you. 
which is inconvenient in that sense. Go, 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 go. Thunderbolts. Yeah, it's not. I wouldn't say it's that hard. You just gotta wait. If you wanna get more hits, just wait for him to hit up his son. There we go. Woo! Hey, t hey, nice. Nice. Da, 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 da. No, 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 no. <laughs> Look at that. Animation just goes right through it. Nice. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode off here. I'll catch you guys on the next episode when the breaking news, the flying battery returns. I'm going to answer that shit like I don't fuck with you. Fuck with you, 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 you.